girls have long faced discrimination and denial of their inalienable rights all over the world. In 2011, thanks to our collaborative advocacy with Khan International, the United Nations officially recognized and adopted the International Day of the Girl. Since then, on October 11th of each year, we take a step to reflect on girls' issues. And this year, we look back at the Girls' Care Equal Campaign, which we embarked on alongside Plan International. For five years, young girls and boys have challenged harmful practices, discriminatory laws, and unfair behavior towards girls, reaching families, communities, and even the decision makers at country levels, regional level, and beyond. Here are a few highlights. The first pillar of the campaign was equal representation. The aim was to shatter myths that are discriminatory towards girls. In West and Central Africa, the regional hub set the tone by funding the production of the web series Le Fille de Zaguera, in which six girls dare to break the silence about the discrimination they suffer, succeeding to gain their relative support and invite the public to do the same. Again, showcasing their creativity, young artists Kuba and Maguire from Senegal seem to denounce gender-based violence. While youths from Ghana set up sketches to denounce society's gender stereotypes and invite the media to destroy these stereotypes. The second pillar of the campaign was equal freedom. Here, girls demand to be free and safe online. We massively mobilize to ensure that our rights are respected online. In Niger, Hatara and young people from the Change program raise awareness of the harmful effect of online harassment on girls on social media networks. Similarly, in the Central African region, Alert went on the radio to remind people that online harassment is an offence and that the law must be applied to protect girls. In Guinea, the Club of Young Girl Leaders of Guinea made it clear that there is no way of limiting girls' access to the digital world, otherwise they will lose their online voice. In their proactiveness, Women Tech Association in Mali organized a workshop on online activism to help girls conduct online advocacy and protect themselves from the dangers of the digital world. The girls even went a step further by writing an open letter, Majididat from Bene, participated in the elaboration of this letter that invited the public to sign girl petitions whereby girls asked social media platforms to act for their safety online. Equal Power Now was the third pillar of the GGE campaign. Girls legitimately demand access to decision-making spaces. In Cameroon, Maniamu officially launched Dear Leaders Action by addressing decision makers to uphold girls' fundamental rights to participate in and decide on issues that concern them. In Nigeria, girls initiated the She Votes To campaign to encourage the participation of their mates in political affairs, particularly in the presidential election held in 2023. The Girls Here Equal campaign also included high level takeovers, such as the takeover of the National Assembly in Sierra Leone, where youths pleaded for the adoption of the Women's Bill, the takeover of the President of the Republic of Guinea Bissau, Bataibu who asked the government to take better measures to protect girls' equal rights to education, training and employment. And the takeover of Swedish ambassador in Burkina Faso by Martin, who invited the embassy and his partners to take more action to prevent early pregnancies at schools and support girls' sexual and reproductive health. We were also able to observe the bravery of the girls in protecting their rights, whatever the circumstances. Indeed, during the COVID-19 pandemic, Mawata and her friends in Liberia changed their ways of working. They went door to door to prevent an escalation of gender-based violence within and during the lockdown. I can't end without celebrating the hosting of the two Global Girls Summits by the West and Central African region. This was hosted in Togo in 2021 and in Nigeria in 2022. At the end of these summits, the girls' participants created a network within which they continued their advocacy for girls' equality. 
while great steps forward have been made, particularly in terms of changing behavior in communities, raising their awareness, winning men and boy allies, and obtaining the commitment of decision makers, we don't intend to stop here. We are going to redouble our advocacy as part of the coming Girls Get Equal 2.0 campaign until we are all equal.